DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, turning this around. Uh, walking out from the hotel towards the uh, towards the conference center slowly. Uh, I just noticed in front of me, you might notice the ladies, they're all, there's a whole group of ladies here, athletes or training people. <laughs> it just kind of uh, gives an atmosphere to the place. I mean, because everybody, there's so many athletes and people are doing sports that happen to to be in these hotels around here. So it's a, it kind of, like I say, it gives it a bit of an atmosphere to the place. So, while I'm walking along, I guess I could make a vlog. And I saw that there was a new spooky university out. Uh, and there's a topic that kind of fits when you're on tra when you're traveling. It's uh, it was talking with the dead. Now, first off, let me lay things down. Uh, I don't believe you can talk with the dead. So I know you're a lot of you are going to say we don't agree. That's all right. Don't agree. But uh, I don't believe that you can talk with the dead. I believe that you can c communicate what you want to in the sense of you can send out your thoughts. Can they hear you? That much I don't know. But uh, they won't talk back. And I know some of you will say, well, yes, they do. Okay, that's what you believe, so believe it. Uh, I think something else is talking back to you, but not, not the people that you think you are. Now, having got that behind, uh, and I could say get that elephant out of the room, um, do I communicate uh, with people that are not there? gone well you know I think like anybody will have uh, imaginary conversations or I would say they're not probably that imaginary because sometimes you bring things back and they're very real and as as you've often probably uh, heard about things let me see I just check something quickly yeah there was something with the balance about time travel that if you change something there would be other outcomes well i think that when you're reliving or talking uh with someone you do try and change uh, outcomes does this have anything to do with the topic yes and no let me see are they gonna wait no is this one gonna wait yes okay so we're going into the woods now my hotel is over there, and this is the entrance to the grounds of Papandal. I always take the the woods way to go. There's a, a road over there. It's just basically probably the official way. But I found this one, it's more more apt. And the battery is dying. Oh, I've been using it a lot lately, so I suppose that's kind of normal. So, it'll have to give me a few seconds and I'll be back. Okay, well I'm back and in the few seconds it took me to change the battery, loads of people started walking here. <coughs> Other people going to the conference as well. Uh, the topic, well I'm continuing on the Spook University one, was how do you talk with the dead? And uh, I said what I, I thought about it, so basically this is part two, it's just a second video which will be at uh, attached to the first one. But uh, Conversations with people that are away. Uh, take, for example, this morning at the breakfast table, I was alone. But it was funny, I was almost having a conversation with uh, Mrs. DC. I have conversations with people that are away. And very often in my mind, I can visualize <clears throat> what they will answer. And almost answer back. So, I mean, I get that. But... Uh, I think there was also the question if you've done things with Ouija boards and stuff like that. The answer to that is no, I do not uh, do that. Yes, if you're going to ask me, does it have to do with the Christian mindset? Yes, it does. And uh, uh, so I don't do that. But nevertheless, um, uh, I mean, I do communicate in my mind 
with people that are absent and a lot actually so maybe if I didn't have the same my worldview I'd be right into that but I have the worldview that I have okay that'll be DC signing off everybody that's Spooky University 84 I believe take care bye